So unless you've been living under a rock or literally have anything better to do, The Sims has just announced the new expansion pack, The Sims 4 Cottage Life. And there are actually a lot of new features and I'm actually uh, shocked, hello? So I just wanna take you through the trailer and just show you some very important things that I really, 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 really need to highlight. And yeah, I know you could just watch the trailer without me, but why, why would you wanna do that? Here you can see the beginnings of a Sims 4 Disney princess pack that probably gets interrupted because they really don't want another lawsuit on their hands. Yeah, also, that's a bunny. They have bunnies now. Why is it so fucking cute? This is the part where the Sims team realized that they don't want to get sued by Disney, so they went straight for New Line Cinema and tried to rip off Lord of the Rings. Is that a hobbit? You could swim in the lakes now. And Mrs. Grumple Bottom is back and she's gonna give you a concussion. Bam! 10 years in prison. In easily. Oh god, please don't encourage terrain tools. Rabbits literally do not make that sound. That rabbit is also completely unsupervised around your crops. Bad idea, buckaroonie. The first ever llama in a Sims game, by the way. Finally, they're on brand. That That's not very vegan. This is the part where the Sims team realized that not a lot of people bought nifty knitting, so they're really trying to push their knitting agenda. No politics in my game, thank you. Isn't that crocheting? This is the part where I believe the animals are actually able to massacre each other, which is probably the most exciting part about this pack. Hey, hey buddy, did you ever find out what happened to Bambi's mom? Because you're about to find out in a second. That's a pumpkin. That's not vegan, lady. Please stop. You know, they already tried to appease the vegans with the Sims 4 eco lifestyle, so now they're really trying to go the polar opposite. This is my beef burger. ba da ba 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 Rabbits can't hold things with their hands like that. Not really. I would like to welcome everybody to the Sims 4. I mean Stardew Valley. I mean the Sims 4. I mean Stardew Valley? <laughs> that's a big eggplant. And that's a very small carrot. They knew what they were doing. And that's it. That's the Sims 4 cottage lifestyle. Is it, what is it called? Cottage life? Cottage living. Okay, the names are gonna do that, aren't they? Now, I know I usually sound like I have a stick up my ass, and I usually do, but I'm actually genuinely excited for this pack, and why does that sound like a surprise? It has more animals, not horses, though, and I don't know why they left that one out. You have a brand new world that's also not just like an American town. It's a European English-based village. I can tell. I hope so, which is good, because that's basically where I live. I'm more excited about having a pet chicken than I am a bunny, and it seems like they've really upgraded the farming mechanic or gardening or whatever it's called, because does that mean that your fruits and veggies can have different sizes. Can I have just one really big parsley? And our queen Agnes Crumple Bottom is back. I called it. I called it. But I can tell she's gonna annoy me because she's not just gonna stay in that world, is she? She's gonna go around everywhere, which means my sims are never gonna be able to woohoo publicly again. Also, the way that cottage looks just really makes me want a Sims Medieval 2 and that's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm super hyped for this pack and that's all this video was gonna tell you. Bye-bye! <laughs>